Let me start off by saying that uh, I want to, given our current fire activity uh, that we've been experiencing here, our hearts go out to the folks that have already been impacted by the fires that existed here. And many of them thought that it would never happen to them, but these types of situations do. It's a real situation. And in California, you can find yourself affected by wildfires at any minute. So I want to acknowledge those folks who are struggling to rebuild their lives as we speak here today. And second, that we learn from these tragedies by understanding that these fires can grow and spread very rapidly, and by preparing ourselves, our families, and our homes through self-awareness, reducing the threat of wildfire, and having an emergency plans should they occur. At CalEMA, uh, our responsibility is looking at the big picture for any disaster or emergency that may impact the state. And we ensure that when fast-moving fires grow beyond the ability of state and local fire agencies to get it under control, we coordinate intelligence and dispatch help from around the state, sometimes from other states, and at times from other countries. Uh, we've been a leader because, uh, as a state because we have had a lot of disasters here. Uh, in California. So the team is knowledgeable in our ability to pull together a wide range of personnel and resources from everything from dealing with terrorist attacks to floods to wildfires. One key way that we do this uh, and that we've already been engaged with doing uh, in this fire season is fostering strong partnerships. We work closely with our local and state uh, and emergency counterparts at, at, and at the federal level throughout the state to ensure our mutual aid system is robust. And it is the robust, most robust mutual aid system that exists in the country. Uh, and we, we really truly appreciate the willingness of our local uh, 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 partnerships to be able to help all of Californians when this occurs. In addition, we fostered relationships with private industry and nonprofit groups to give us access to specialized equipment, supplies, food, and other resources that will help streamline efforts to save lives and protect property. And our governor is committed to being prepared as well. Despite tough, tough budget times over the past few years, we have been able to procure and strategically place uh, over 114 type one uh, uh, and 15 type three mutual aid all risk fire engines throughout the state that bolster our state's response capability, much like you see here today, this yellow engine. Uh, and, st and the state agencies that we work with stand ready to play their role in the overall state disaster response system. Just a couple of pieces of a larger system that, that is designed to do our best to serve the public when disaster strikes. But at the end of the day, you are our best defense. I'll close by reminding what Chief Pemlock said during his remarks. Approximately 94% of wildfires in California are human caused, which means that they could be prevented. Help your friends, your family, and community by taking steps to prepare and prevent these fires from starting in the first place. We're relying on you, and so are they. Well, we're here to kick off Fire Awareness, uh, fire awareness Week, uh, get ready for the fire season. It's already here. So uh, you got some professionals committed. Uh, they know their business. Uh, they're going to do everything they can. Uh, but we also want to recognize that uh, our climate is changing. The weather uh, is becoming more intense. It's going to cost a lot of money and a lot of lives. It's not something uh, in any adversarial way that we can look at this. You over there, we're over here. It's kind of a uh, us, them, you, them. No, it's all us together in California, in America, <coughs> coping uh, with I increasing challenges. This business of fire, uh, it, it's devastating to those when it affects them. And we know that the fire season has grown over the last 40 years. It's gotten uh, longer and longer. Uh, we have our intermittent uh, wet years, uh, but here it is, and we have to be ready for it, and I'm going to do everything I can uh, to deal with uh, forest fires, but also with the whole problem of climate change, and then the big issue, uh, how do we adapt? Because it doesn't look like the people who are in charge are going to do what it takes uh, to really slow down this climate change, so we're going to have to adapt, and adapting is going to be very, very expensive. Uh, that's another reason why we have to maintain some budget discipline because whatever we need to spend today, it's going to be more tomorrow when it comes to dealing with fires and uh, other uh, unpredictable uh, 
uh, crises that we're going to have to face. So to all the men behind us, thanks a lot. We got a big job ahead, and you got my backing.